Congratulations! Woodhouse Sleeper Berth Incorporated thanks you for purchasing the Sleeper Berth installation package. We have taken great strides to help make your installation as smooth as possible. This installation DVD is intended to provide the necessary detail for a successful install with your complete satisfaction, our ultimate goal. Installation time should run between four and six hours. Before you begin your installation, we recommend watching this DVD in its entirety. This will give you good insight and preview the process so you can anticipate each installation step. Let's get started. Door Disassembly To remove the door panel, remove the rear door upper trim mold. Remove rear door handle cover to gain access to screw. Once the screw is removed, remove the door handle trim bezel. Remove the window switch from the panel. And disconnect the window switch wiring plug. Remove all perimeter door panel fasteners. Lift up and remove the door panel. Remove the inner window belt molding. Remove speaker. Reattach the window switch to the harness and lower the window down until you can see the bottom of the window in the speaker opening to gain access to the window track clip. This is a picture of a removed clip. To release the clip, reach in on the back side of the clip and push the back side button, which will not be viewable, but which will release the clip from the glass. Once the release is pushed, move the glass up to disengage the clip from the glass and remove the clip. Open the rear access hole cover and then, using the window switch, raise the glass so that you can see the second clip from that access point and remove the clip in the same manner as the first clip. You will now want to secure the window glass in place in the closed position over the top of the door frame with strong masking or duct tape. Remove the electric window switch from the harness. Remove the two screws that hold the wiring harness to the door. Remove and disconnect the wiring plug at the B-pillar. Now. Remove the three door latch screws, the inner door panel bolts, and window regulator assembly panel. As the panel is being removed, disconnect lock rod from the door latch. The window regulator assembly panel is now removed. Remove the wiring harness from the window assembly. Next, remove the door latch from the window regulator assembly. Install the supplied lock rod to the latch. Install the supplied pull handle rod. Reinstall latch assembly in the door. Hook up door handle rod to the latch. Remove the T-handle from the supplied rod. Plug in the removed wiring harness back into the door latch. Reinstall the wiring harness at the B-pillar. Locate the wiring harness on top of the inner door support. Window Modification Install the front window supplied round rubber grommet in the forward window hole. Install supplied window bracket assembly through the grommet and glass with washer and nylock nut and tighten. Caution! Avoid over tightening. Again, make sure the window is in the utmost position and use supplied self-tapping screws to secure the bracket in place. To gain access to the rear window hole, 
you must trim out the metal brace as illustrated. Next, install supplied round rubber grommet in rear window hole. Install supplied bracket assembly in the same manner as front window bracket. Remove tape from window. Door insert installation. Install door panel by putting lock rod and pull rod through existing panel holes and thread T-handle on pull rod. Install supplied push pins to install panel to the door using existing holes. You will need to drill two additional holes using a one quarter inch drill bit where factory door holes did not exist. You will notice two additional holes in the supplied door panel where the two additional holes will be drilled. Install remaining two push pins in your newly drilled holes. Finally, reinstall inner belt molding and factory upper trim panel. Your first door panel is now complete. Repeat the process for the second door. Rear seat removal. To gain access to the floor bolts, raise the seat cushion and remove bolts. To gain access to the rear bolts, lift the lower seat cushion. Once all the floor bolts are removed, you will want to separate the storage platform if equipped. Also, if your vehicle is equipped with a base speaker assembly, you will have to remove it at this time. You may reinstall the base speaker assembly as you are installing the bed frame. Note, this reinstallation is optional as the base speaker will be sitting under your bed frame and may affect the sound quality. Passenger Front Seat Removal To ensure compliance with the Department of Transportation, you must remove the front passenger seat by removing the four floor attaching bolts. Bed Support System Move bed frame into pickup. Line up four holes in frame brackets with factory seat anchor points in the floor. Notice this photo shows a speaker equipped option vehicle which we chose to keep the speaker assembly. Loosely install seat bolts through the bed frame brackets which will be tightened in a later step. Support straps and buckles for netting. Install the center in strap to the left side of the center shoulder retractor in the floor. Install the right out strap in the right side of the center shoulder retractor in the floor. Install the left out strap in the left inner release latch mounting bolt. Route all straps under the frame assembly making sure that the straps are not twisted. Attach straps to the front of the frame using seatbelt restraint latches and three washers as spacers and one washer at the bolt head as illustrated. At this time, secure all frame, floor, and belt fasteners. Net Install Lay the net across the bed frame making sure the buckle inserts are toward the front and anchor plates of the net are to the rear wall of the cab. Remove the existing child anchor safety straps. Attach the net strap anchors to the three existing child restraint anchor points with factory restraint bolts, making sure the strap is in the up position. To attach the side strap net connectors, simply pull the latch through the loop, tying it to the handle. The front buckle inserts simply click into the corresponding buckle on the frame. Jack Relocation Remove existing jack and bracket assembly from the floor. Lay the jack in the passenger side storage area under the mattress frame. Wood Platform Move the net out of the way. 
it can be gathered and slipped through the pass-through rear window if your truck is so equipped. Lay out the wood platform on the frame. Align wood pieces to have approximately equal coverage on all sides. They will not fit flush. Once in place, secure the center wood panel with four self-tapping screws. Once the center piece is secure, attach the two outer pieces to the center panel with small wood screws and the piano hinges. Once the hinges are in place, you are ready to slide the mattress in place. Final step. At this point, ensure all fasteners and bolts are securely tightened and restraint is latched into place. Congratulations, your sleeper berth is complete. Warning, in the interest of safety, we must issue this warning. Department of Transportation requirements call for a safety restraint netting to protect the driver of the vehicle during extreme deceleration of the vehicle. This netting is not intended to be a safety restraint for the occupant of the sleeper berth. Any crash or rollover accident may cause serious injury or death to the occupant of the sleeper berth compartment. Occupant assumes all risk of injury and or death while occupying the sleeper berth compartment.